hey, it was just easier to record a video for this really quick uh, than to try and type all this out. But you've got two, you've got in your scenario, you have a master list, which is your first sheet. And it, this lists out all of your people and all their contact information. And then you also have your my project sheet. And so this sheet, uh, the way it works is it's connected back. It's got cross sheet references back to the master list. So when someone enters the name on the project sheet, it's going to bring in all the other information with it. So if I go over here to my project sheet and I enter in my name, and I hit enter, it's going to bring in my email and my phone. And then of course, all the other uh, columns if I had to set up. So what I want to do is to walk you through how to set up those other columns. So what we have to do is we have to create what's called a cross sheet reference from my, my project over to my master list. The way I do that is I right click on the screen and go to manage references. You can see I've got these references created already. So I've got a reference for name, email, and phone number that all point over to that master list. So I'm going to create one for role now. Master list. Once I find my sheet in the, uh, in the list, uh, I'm going to give it which column I'm referring to. And so in this case, I'm referring to, to the column name role. So I'm just going to give it the same uh, sheet reference name to make it easy to match back and forth. All right, so when I reference role, it's going to go over to my master list and it's going to look in this column for my data. I'm going to insert that reference. So the way we do this is with an index match formula. So that equals index, open parentheses. And the first thing that you want to tell it is what you want to bring back. Well, what I want to bring back is I want to bring back the role. But I want to do that by matching. So I'm going to match, uh, if I can spell it correct. I'm going to match the name here with the name in my uh, master list. So I'm going to match this primary column at row by going to matching the name, which is my other cross sheet reference that I already created earlier, to my master list column of name. Uh, and then the last column of search type is gonna be zero, and then we close out both parentheses and we're done. So you can see that the role now brings in from the master list from Ryan from the role of smart sheet consultant. So if I go back to my project here, and let's say, um, so now that I've created these formulas, I want to make all of these column uh, column formulas. So that way it happens every time I enter some data in a field, it's going to bring back all of this information. So for the next one, I'm going to, the next contact is Jane Doe. So when I hit enter, you'll see that her email, her phone, and her role all get pulled in as well. So that's how you create a, uh, a list of contacts that goes and reference back your master list of contacts and brings all those into your project. This master list can be a single sheet that exists within your universe of, um, of projects, or you can include this master list in each one of your individual projects to have it pull in um, for those projects. But it really makes sense just to maintain one master list so that way you don't have to go update every project along the way. All right, hope that helps.